A local professor and her husband suffered serious injuries in a crash, and they lived to tell about it. That's right. They sat down only with 10 on your side, Jason Marks, uh, to talk about their long road to recovery now. And it's been one that they have been on for several months. Well, it's been a month since they had this crash, and those bones that were broken are slowly recovering, and they're slowly hearing, and the memory of that month, that night, is still very fresh, a night where they almost lost their lives. We were within minutes of our home. But one Virginia Beach couple never made it. My near our own business stopped at a light and our lives are, are changed forever. Joe and Kathy Jackson were on their way home from a charity event February 7th. They pulled up to the light behind a pickup truck at Northampton in Pleasure House. I looked up into the um, rearview mirror and I saw uh, police lights. And I remember Joe saying they're not stopping. Almost as soon as that, we got hit at 60 miles an hour. And then I just remember this, this deafening thud, and I just felt like every bone in my body had shattered. The Jackson's car hit the truck in front and spun several times before coming to a stop. I remember saying, am, am I dying? And, and Joe um, grasped my hand and he said, help, help is coming. Joe suffered a broken leg and arm. Kathy, a broken leg and internal injuries that required immediate surgery. Virginia Beach police tell us they were trying to pull over a driver right before the crash. 72-year-old Robert Thompson was arrested for driving drunk. Of course we're a little bit angry. Of course we're, we're sad. You know, of course we're a little bit bitter, like why did this happen to us? But, but the outpouring of support has been incredible. Kathy's a professor at Virginia Wesleyan. Joe, a former newspaper reporter. Part of their recovery is learning more about the man police say put them in the hospital and figuring out why it happened. I would ask him what, what you know, just what, what happened that night. You just feel so helpless because you know that there are people out there who are flaunting the rules that are designed to make everybody safe. And Kathy and Joe won't be released from the hospital for another week. That will be almost a month later than the crash. Police told us the suspect, Robert Thompson, didn't have car insurance or a valid ID. He told Ted on your side he can't remember the crash. I'm very sorry to hear that. You know, I'm very sorry to hear that. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Now coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear why Thompson says what he was doing before the crash and why he explains he can't remember it ever happening. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.